I want to talk a little bit about recognizing trouble on the fire ground. One of the biggest skills that you need to learn, especially for rapid intervention, is having guys call for help, knowing that a message has been called and, and people are in trouble. So we're going to talk a little bit about the May Day. Recognizing problems is a big thing. Nobody wants to call for help on the fire ground, and because of that, we're being delayed when we try and get in and rescue people. The sequence that you should go through as an individual when, when you're in trouble is first and foremost recognize it and stop for a minute. It should take just a couple of seconds. Just stop, collect your thoughts so you know what your next step is going to be. Your crew should be somewhere right around you, so just reach out to your crew. Call out for your crew. Try and have them come in and help solve your problem. If they can't solve it and you can't solve it together, then immediately call a mayday. We're going to talk about the message here in just a second, but call a mayday and get help started, help on the way. Next step you should do is try and solve your problem. Try and get in there, try and figure out what it is, and try and resolve it before help gets to you. If you can't, Activate your pass device immediately. You want to put that in alarm mode simply so other people on the fire ground can hear you right away. And then continue to try and solve your problem. The big reason we say that twice is your pass device, as everybody knows, is going to take a little bit of time to activate. And if you're moving around trying to solve your problem, then it may not go off. So manually set that into alarm mode. And then finally, try and conserve your air. The, the big thing with this is if you run out of air, you're going to be in much graver danger at this point so just solve that problem but save your air try and communicate on the radio so before we talk about the message we'll do that sequence again the first thing is just stop orient yourself try and figure out what just happened the next thing alert your crew try and get your crew there they should be within voice contact they should be able to come in and help you if they can't or you can't solve your problem activate your uh, mayday then solve your problem activate your pass device and continue to try and solve your problem. When we talk about a Mayday message, the Mayday is, is critical. There's, there's all kinds of acronyms that people are using out there and they're all good to remember the information, but you really need to practice the message in the format that you'd use under distress. So there's an acronym called LUNAR, which is last known location, unit number, name, assignment, and resources needed. That's a good one to remember your information. There's one called LIP, which is Location, Identification, Problem. CAN, which is Condition, Action, Need. All of those are great, but you really need to stress and practice what you're going to say on the radio. So, the Mayday message should always start with Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. And then give your name and your unit number. And then go into your assignment, your location, and your problem. And if you can just go through that, a lot of it you can go through before the mayday ever takes place. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Name and unit number for me is always the same. I don't work a lot of trade time. I don't work a lot of shifts. So it's mayday, 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 McCormick, ladder seven. And then from that point, you, you need to give your assignment, your problem, and your location. So it would be mayday, mayday, mayday. McCormick, ladder seven. We're searching the basement. We're disoriented, we need help to get out. And if you can get that material out there, get it out in a smooth, consistent fashion, then people will be on the way and they'll have as much information as they need to solve your problem. There's also a big debate on whether you should say mayday, mayday, mayday and wait for acknowledgement, or you should just speak your message in its entirety. And, and we really recommend that you collect your thoughts and you give that message completely the first time. One of the problems that exists out there is that people get on the radio as soon as this happens and you may not get another chance to give that message. So give that message. If it's acknowledged, activate your past device and then continue to solve that problem until help gets to you. If it's not acknowledged, give it again and continue to give it as you're trying to solve that problem. Good luck. We'll come up with a training session next time for you to go through and really reinforce that.